Alright, hey, what's up, guys? This is E.T. Zombie, and I am back again tonight with another video. Yeah, I know it's been a while. It's, uh, on my uh, YouTube, it says two months since my last video. Might have been a little bit longer since then, but uh, I'm back tonight, I'm back at it, and I have more videos coming. Alright, moving on. Tonight's video is all about the Redemption RDA by Fogwind Vapor. Um, apparently, it's the same creators from the uh, Mutation X. Um, it is a mutation styled RDA. It's a three pro three post design. Has a few different finishes. It's a 22 millimeter Addy. It comes with two barrels, two chuff caps, and uh, some extras. And uh, yeah, it's pretty decent. Um, the site I bought it from was JJ Vapes for thirty dollars. So it's another authentic, affordable device. Um, actually, I think it's only. Let me see. It comes in stainless steel, black, and white. So, uh, three finishes. No airflow, no AFC, no airflow control. Um, one barrel has eight holes on each side, so 16. The other barrel has four on each side, so only eight. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Stainless steel deck, deep juice well, big holes, holes, Phillips head screws, and, uh, yeah, authentic and affordable, all right? So, uh, moving on, I'm just going to go ahead and switch the camera around and get in with some up-close time with the Redemption RDA. Alright, so here we are, guys, with some up-close time with the Redemption RDA by Fogwind Vapor. Alright, again, uh, like I said, it's from the same creators as the uh, Mutation X, I don't believe, I don't recall the exact person's name, but... Uh, Anyhow, again, jjvapes.com, and I think I saw it on a couple other websites, uh, I'm not sure. Originally I saw it, and I think in uh, Vaping with Twisted 420, uh, one of his videos for some box mod, but he just had this on top, and uh, I think that's where I first saw it. But uh, anyway, eh, when you first get it, it comes just like this, obviously, Fog One Vapor Company, Redemption RDA. That's it, got a QR code on the back, fogwindvapor.com, blah, 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 blah. And that's it. So, pop it open like so. And there's no uh, pull tabs or anything, but you have this like felty material in here, so you just kind of, kind of have to, you know, get a hold of it, and pull it out. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, when you open it, it, comes just like that. Like I said, the two barrels, one with eight holes on each side, total of sixteen. The other barrel, four on each side, total of eight, and you get two chuff caps. Um, one black and one white. The white one is uh, stainless steel with a uh, coated paint, and the black one is just your classic uh, Chuff style Dalrin or whatever material plastic. I think it's Dalrin, but anyway. Then you get a little baggie of, uh, of extras here. You got, of course, the famous blue screwdriver, along with some blue O-rings, a, a, uh, Stainless steel uh, 510 or uh, center post and uh, three extra screws. All right, that's that. Let's look at the uh, extra one first. So it's just like the first one, except white and stainless steel, but that's it. Again, secured with one blue o ring there, and these chuff caps are um, domed inside to intensify flavor. And that's that. But one thing I noticed with this, you can see paint on the inside. Even though it's up there, you know, it's not really having any contact with the coils or anything like that or close to them, but I'm still not a huge fan of that. Same thing on the barrel. White all in there. It's kind of like um, when they... It, it looks like uh, I did... Uh, powder coating for a short period of time and it looks it looks like when you spray one side and the paint just gets on the inside without actually painting on the inside that's what it looks like happened here but anyway you got a little lip on the bottom there to secure it onto the deck and uh, that's it pretty straightforward there okay now that to the side here's the RDA the RDA here's the one with eight holes on each side, total of 16, and a staggered uh, position. No AFC, like I mentioned. And here's the uh, chuff cap for it. Again, secured by one single blue O-ring. Again, domed to touch by flavor. Wide bore in there, probably about 10 millimeter or so. 
Dalrin material. All right, not too shabby. Like it, like it. Then here, same exact barrel, same paint situation on the inside as you can see. There's that little lip on there again to secure it to the deck. And yeah. All right. Now moving on to the deck. Focus in a little bit here. So, like I mentioned, it's a stainless steel deck. Everything stainless steel. Uh, Three-post design. Son of a bitch. Three-post design. Decent sized post holes. Actually, really big. Probably three millimeter. Uh, maybe two, two point five, something like that. Um, yeah. Got the Phillips head screws, haven't had a problem with them. This is only my first build in here. I have had this in here for since I got it. I haven't really I vaped on it for a while and then I haven't been vaping on it really the last couple weeks, but um yeah. So really deep juice well, really nice. Um you got some sort of it looks like an O-ring on the bottom of that uh center post, but uh, anyways. Secured by two blue O-rings. Haven't had any problem with them. The resistance on them is quite nice. All right, designed by Fogwin, serial number W170, and you got a adjustable copper 510 pin. Okay. Here, let me. Uh, yeah. All right, so it is adjustable. And you also have some another like uh, black o-ring in there the reds on it, everything's fine um the build i have in here is a dual 18 gauge came out to one point something or another let me throw it on my uh oh meter i just checked it like last night but uh let's see no not seven two oh Oh, meter's going crazy. <laughs> okay, anyway, my old meter's acting up. But anyway, it's about 0.18. Or, yeah, 0.18, something like that. All right, and uh, I originally tried to do a... Uh, I was going for a, 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 a center build, but it didn't quite work out. Because normally that's all I do, but the wire's so thick, and I didn't give enough uh, room on those leads to quite bend over enough. So... This shit would fucking focus. Focus, you son of a bitch. So, yeah. Alright, that's pretty much it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it on a device. I'm going to be using my Copper Simple Mod. And since it's such a low resistance, I'm going to be using a proper battery of course 40 amp vamped vapor cell pop that in there actually first let me screw on the Addy okay then goes in the battery all right I had to get my uh, thing to screw it in but anyway son of a bitch you could pretty much use your finger to uh, close it but then I like to take this and just keep on turning it so let's get the coils of fire come on all right set that down for a second all right, so now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna juice, or I'm gonna wick it and juice it using some anarchist cotton here from uh, localvape.com. Good stuff. Oh, and by the way, the wire is, like I said, it's 18 gauge. I got some vape supply A1 cancel. I think I got it on eBay. Uh, and then what I also like to use. I mean, I have all different kinds of wire, but it's my uh, kind of go-to wire right now this 22 gauge master of clouds really good flavor on it so i also think i got it on ebay um but anyway i already uh pre-cut two strips of uh 
Japanese cotton here. So I'm going to just go ahead and install that and uh, juice it and come back. All right, so anyway, I meant to uh, do this whole thing on camera, but the video's running kind of long, and with the setup I got now for recording, editing, and stuff, uh, it just gives me problems if it's uh, too long. But uh, anyway, this is what I do. I just uh, install the cotton, and I take my 20-gauge uh, syringe needle that uh, has been on video before, and I just tuck the cotton. Okay, and it's hard to do this on the looking at the screen but uh bear with me here okay something like that same thing on the other side all right now i'm gonna juice it and i'm using some uh junky juice trance and it's six of course that's what i always use but uh it's kind of Saturate those wicks. This is really hard to do with this uh, <laughs> this uh, camera setup that I got going. You guys can't see it and probably don't want to see it. But anyway. Something like that. I'm going to play with, fix it up a little bit. Because I want, I want there to be some clearance down there so the uh, air can flow freely underneath and above the coils. Okay. Yeah, something like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, go outside, vape it, and talk on it. Be back in a sec. All right. Hey, what's up, guys? So here I am outside with the uh, Redemption RDA sitting on top of the simple copper mod, 18 gauge, 0.18 ohm, something like that. And uh, here we go. I'm going to do it a little, give a little fire. Okay. Pissed off as uh, V1 Twisted Before 20 would say. Now I'm going to put some more juice on it, put the cap on it, be back in one sec. Okay, so that looks much better. Anyway, I got everything uh, ready to go and I just got juice all over the place dripping all down my mind and shit. So, anyways, here we go. Obviously, it's a cloud chunker. Um, flavor's good, even with no AFC and all that airflow. Like the bitch off a little bit. I mean, it's still flavor's nice. As windy as usual, but that's all right. Tastes good. Again, authentic, affordable chucks and the flavor. So I mean, you can't beat it. Mutation style chuck cap. If you're into that, go get you one. JJVapes.com, 30 bucks. And they're also elsewhere, but that's where I picked it up. I think they're elsewhere. Anyway. Mod's getting a little hot with this uh, long build. But uh, anyway, guys. All right. Like I said, I'm back. I have some more upcoming videos. I got my uh, 26650 Unicorn Mod coming in from Vape Overload. Had a little issue with the first one, so I sent it back. They're going to be sending me another one. And I have some upcoming things. Going to be getting the Mutation X version 4 and along with some other shit. So, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I truly do appreciate it. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already. Join Kasa, fight the FDA, and vape on, guys. All right, one more. Till next time.